hi guys welcome to this channel and thank you so much for choosing to watch my videos if you're new here today my name is betty and welcome to betty az youtube channel if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe consider subscribing to my channel and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so today i'm just sitting here as you can tell today is um today is wednesday and today is the day that I bring Darren for his basketball practice and that's why I'm sitting here uh, let me show you the field right now the some of the kids are gone but mama is busy here vlogging oh I think the camera looks um, the video looks better <laughs> facing this way oh my god look at the Sun Wow I can even yeah, the Sun setting the camera the the lighting seemed perfect facing this way oh my gosh this is so cool you know what i was supposed to start doing this video earlier on <laughs> but then i was the whole time i was with, on the phone with my friend and we were talking about just life in general and i decided um you know i was like oh my god we are talking on the phone i'm supposed to do a video before darren uh you know as i'm waiting for darren to finish up and now it's like 30 minutes to 7 p.m it's because it's 6 30 and i told my friend i said oh let me go back to do it let me do my video and then we'll catch up later the best thing about <laughs> about one thing i love about this country is because when you get on the phone with someone you can talk on the phone for like two three hours i don't know if you're like me but I have that habit. I can stay on the phone with one person for for about two hours straight. Sometimes even three hours. We can talk. I'm busy doing my stuff. They are busy doing their stuff. We are still on the same when the on the same phone call. <laughs> so I don't know whether to call that a good habit or a bad habit, but it really helps me. It, it, it really helps a lot when you are on the phone like that. It really help helps because the reason i'm saying it it really helps is because um let me go back to sitting down and i hope nothing bites me and i'm sitting on this grass the, re the reason why i'm saying it really helps is because once you talk with someone if it's a friend that you usually open up or you talk about life in general it really it really help helps because this country can be a little bit um lonely and sometimes you don't get to see a lot of people so when you get to talk to friends like this you feel good you know because you're like ah it feels like you're seeing them but you are not like this of friend like, like some of my friends i've actually never met them i talk to a lot of friends that i've never met and we talk for hours hours <laughs> sometimes people um you know people just get um people get connected and people um get into a deep conversation even if you've never met but you figure you realize you click you know and you then you share you start opening up and you share they share hey see women we can talk <laughs> anyway today one of the i'll share something that we were i was talking with my friend we were talking about um getting checked like medical checkups and it's very important and uh she said about something like we were talking about this person who who like collapsed they went to the hospital and they found out they had um they had something going on and they didn't know so when they went to the hospital that's when they found out that there was a problem and they didn't know so what does this tell us this tell us that it's very important to always have like annual checkups you know and sometimes we talk about it and you might think ah this betty is talking about annual checkup Connie, i'm gonna waste my money i don't want to waste my money going to the hospital if i'm not sick because you know we always feel and me included we always feel like if i'm not sick then i have no reason to go to the hospital i have no reason to go to the doctor because i'm not sick but believe you me it's very important like today we were we talked and we we shared about all the experiences even from other people we've seen um like people who found out they have something going on and they didn't even know because they never they were healthy they are strong you know and i'm sure you too you know you've heard of somebody or you know someone who has been healthy all this time who has been 
somebody strong and healthy and then all of a sudden you hear oh they passed out or they just collapsed because they had some undelay you know something going on but they didn't know so it's very important to have these annual checkups and um when you go for your annual check even if you are 100 percent healthy just go check your blood sugar check your blood pressure you know i remember one day i was checking somebody's blood sugar all of actually we were we were testing like a test kit you know like a, to try the blood sugar kit if it's working and i tested this person and i said oh my god your sugar is so high and i said you need to go and see the doctor and they checked and they found out that they have sugar you know going on and um also blood pressure you've seen sometimes people are trying out to try the the kit the blood pressure kit and you go to the doctor and you're like ah yeah you have blood pressure but you didn't know so it's very important sometimes we take it as um and myself too i'm not putting myself on the side on this myself too i've done things and i've gone to the doctor only to find out that i have something going on and i didn't know and especially in this country like a u.s everything is too sugar here everything is just sugar if you <laughs> If you come to visit the U.S., everything is just sweet. I don't know whether they put sweet in everything, but you find out most of the food or most of uh, the stuff you eat in this country has some sort of sugar. So it's very important to keep checking, like get checkups, like blood sugar checks, blood pressure checks, because also blood, blood, blood pressure is a ma major issue here. Also, just go for other checkups. Check your heart, check your... Uh, Check everything, like pretty much everything. It's just good to get checked all the time. Because it's like today I took my daughter to the doctor for two and a half check. You know, two two years and a half. Kamamu, I took her to to her appointment. It's, it's a, they call it wellness checkup here. But I think back home they call it clinics. But you know, back home, I don't know whether... When I was when I had my son back home, I never used to. After the few months of clinics, they get a very few they get very few shots, and that's it. But here they have a lot of shots, and then they have a lot of checkups every time. You have to keep taking the child. Like when she she turned two, I took her for wellness checkup. Now two and a half. Today we went in and they checked. Um, they checked. They did physical tests on her. They have to make you know. They ask you question about her hearing. They'll ask you questions about yeah about everything about her her movements her the way she talks the way she interacts does she play with other kids does she have interest on playing with other kids does she look on like at her age does she play pretend that she they ask you so many questions and then you feel a you feel like 20 que like 10 questions on her age when she was young i mean when she was one i feel about about 20 questions but now she's two and a half i feel like 10 wait a minute when she was two she turned two i feel like 20 questions now she's two and a half i feel like 20, 10 questions just questions to make sure that child the development she's developing good so that they can catch if anything is coming out they the doctor will catch they'll ask they'll even monitor her weight monitor her funny enough because you know i the doctor was like ah oh, her weight is a little bit on the higher side i'm not worried about it but keep feeding her good stuff you know healthy meals because the doctor said if her weight goes more i will start worrying about her weight because they look on the scale and then i'll show you the scale how your child is developing how your child is doing and also when she turned three we are still going back for another checkup the three-year checkup because they, they and i still i'm gonna fill up questionnaire about her development about her every single step you know every milestone with her because you know this country they can they the people you know people like to sue if the doctor doesn't catch something and the doctor has been seeing your child and then the child come up with some sort of uh, issue then people here they sue you know because i've been bringing my child to you how come you've never caught this i've seen things like that so anyway not just the adults, even children is good to take them for checkup. Even when I took my son, and let me tell you, he, they check even at my daughter's 
age they check the private parts i took my my son also at his age they have to check everything physical test physical everything they have to make sure that that child is still so it's very important even teeth every six months you have to take as an adult you go for cleaning general cleaning as a child you take them every six months for cleaning they have to keep up and also to fill up all the cavities and funny enough you realize with the children let me start walking that way because i think it's starting to get dark and i don't know what they finish at seven now that i'm on this video seven is a fika na bado ni nafanya video so anyway uh at darren's it, uh, uh, i mean adults and children even teeth even but whatever physical test they they here yeah, they take them very 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 serious very serious but let me tell you i know back home like for me from kenya not because some people don't don't um want to they have the money but they don't know that is important if a lot of people they feel like ah mini cosa and by the way not just not just back home even here in the US, a lot of Africans, we come here and we think, ah, even if you have insurance, you don't even take advantage of your insurance and you're paying your insurance. A lot of people, they pay their insurances, but they won't use them because they feel like, ah, see, I'm good. Why am I, why do I have to go to the doctor? Me, I'm not sick. You know, I am not, I don't need to go. I don't have the time to go to the doctor. Why do I need to, to go to the doctor, book an appointment and go? I'm not, I don't feel bad. I don't feel there's nothing wrong with me. And you have insurance it's not even a problem it's just that trip of going to the doctor becomes another and let me tell you in the u.s you realize a lot of times you go to the doctor you'll they'll come up with something they'll tell you you have something going on also that's something also you uh we need to worry about uh like to seek about uh like a second opinion because here they are very good at catch, uh, telling you telling you something um and if you're quick to to get uh like diagnosed by that doctor you can end up you know like getting medicated and stuff like that sometime and i've seen cases like that some people having to seek second opinion like getting to see another doctor or waiting a little bit before they start getting all medicated and stuff <laughs> so in this country i know for sure every time whenever you go for your tests something they check oh your cholesterol is high <laughs> oh so you can do, you know sometimes you can run to start taking medication or you know for me i always tell them you know tell me an, an option tell me another option imagine me skinning me telling me my cholesterol is high <laughs> i always tell them you know just tell me um tell me another option and by the way like uh i remember last time i went for my uh, my checkups they found out that my my iron is low so I had to be on iron pills for a while. And then I was like, hey, I need to be eating this iron stuff. You know, things to boost my iron. So things like that, anything and everything you can think of. When you go to that, take advantage of every year. Go to your doctor. Make sure they check everything like never before. Hmm? And if they don't, uh, the, even, even if the doctor wonders, why are you getting checked? Are you unajishuku? Tell them no you just want to stay healthy you just want to know you want to stay on top of yeah on top of your of your um, on top of everything you want to stay on top of <laughs> on top of your health you want to make sure that um you know where you stand because we don't want these stories of people they passed out they 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 passed out somewhere and then they found out something has been going on and you didn't even know or you go to you know you go trying out like a like a blood pressure cuff to see if it fits you even at work when you're when you're testing your patients you decide ah let me test but there is another person who did that even at work when i was uh, working in a, a assisted living somebody tried like uh, they were just trying the um um the the blood the blood pressure cuff you know they wanted to see if it works and then their blood pressure was like low you know and then they tried again and then they kept trying hey, then i was like oh it's time to see a doctor because your blood pressure is now low and you see other cases a lot of cases you find people some blood pressure is high here blood pressure is is low blood pressure you know 
blood sugar is high here yeah, blood sugar is is low you know so it's very important i just thought you know what let me talk to my people because i always come here and i talk a lot about a lot of stuff but today i just wanted to talk about our health taking staying, staying on top of our health as much as we eat healthy and exercise by the way that is another thing exercise is very important and i know i'm not a gym instructor or you know a wealth and fitness something somebody but i just want to say that it's very important to stay on top of um exercising a little bit you don't have to sign up to a gym you don't even have to do it like aggressively like a lot of like exercise you feel like hey you have to sign up and stuff no just a little bit stay on top of your health by the way for me i don't I signed up gym, Ilinishinda. I tried gym. I didn't keep up with the gym. I couldn't. I had to freeze my account. I don't know whether they're going to revive it or they'll start charging me money. I don't know. But every day I try to exercise a little bit. Just jump a little bit here. If I don't, I start feeling weak and start feeling like hey, something is off completely. So that tells you what. It's very important to stay on top of our health. You know, Betty is a family. We need to stay on, we need to stay on top of of these things because we need to be we need to stay healthy you know even even if you feel like you work but there are some people and i was talking to my mom about this and my mom was like i am me i do a lot of work at home so i don't need to exercise and i said no work is not exercise surely i say atakama just exercise and i right now i'm trying to get my mom into exercising i'm trying to get her into even if it's it's of course it's not like crazy crazy exercises but i'm trying to get her into a little bit of exercises where simple easy you know like um simple exercises where she can do something here and there like a little bit of movements and i tell her it's very important even eating even eating uh some some stuff that can help her and she was telling me the other day she said oh by the way i'm feeling better i'm feeling better my body feels better like she um before she was feeling like tired and overly tired and i said let's try this and this and this and i'm like hey clearly it's it's working you know and uh, i try to i i try to tell her you know like even at at uh, at this age it's very important to go get checked get the tests all the tests you need it's very important and she tells me yeah. so for your parents you are the one to help your parents out there by the way sometimes we think oh our parents knew was there they don't need checkups they do they do need to be checked also the parents need to be checked because uh as the as the children they are children we are the ones to tell them we are the one to help them because sometimes we might think ah hey my bra is showing <laughs> and it's kwanza <laughs> i'm sorry guys and this video is coming to you raw like that raw you know i hate I hate wearing this kind of top because so you don't have a how now janja you see what i mean with these all shimos you have to play you you have to play your your cards right for your for your things not to show down there mm? and it's a cute top that's the outfit of the day <laughs> oh my camera fell guys and this video is coming to me <laughs> camera in mianguka let me show you the outfit of the day Oh dear Lord, eh? that's, the, that's the outfit of the day. Hey, how come this camera is, uh, it want to embarrass me? Eh? You see, talking about exercise, my, stomach, my tummy is still sticking out. Take care of yourselves, guys. I love you all. I just wanted to point that out. You can, uh, we can discuss on the comment section. Let me know about what you think about this getting tested every year. And we thank God for good health. And yes it's very important go tell your doctor that betty said even if you feel you're healthy kabisa book an appointment today if you haven't been to a doctor for like two three years oh my god please it's time to make an appointment just go and get blood work blood work physical test every year get tested not because you are sick not because you are feeling sick just go get tested it doesn't matter we want us to know where we stand with our health so that if there's something the doctor can catch it quick and especially that's the reason i keep repeating about blood pressures and blood sugars because this is the thing you know people a lot of people are, are nowadays they're they are, they are diabetic you know they you get diabetes a lot and if it's in the family <coughs> you realize in akunyamelea in anyameleanga watu sana and if like if you have a history of blood pressure in the family you realize 
hata wewe unakaa chonjo because in my you know you never know so uh, these things are in a lot of families not just my family like in my family we have blood pressures and we have blood sugars so i always stay on top of um these because i'm like eh, eh, eh. you know god help god help us we pray that the, the anything that killed someone else will not kill us right that is what we pray because we are like no not because it killed my grandmother it's gonna kill me me i want to believe that will happen right guys so anyway, I'm not. I don't mean to scare you because Betty, you, you might think Betty is talking to us like, "Hey, we are we are sick." No, you're not sick. I'm just saying, God bless you. Take care of yourself, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Bye. Oops, kata kata hi katiki.